coronavirus is an unfamiliar enemy to us all. It's raging across the world, it's accelerating in its impact across Europe, and therefore we're having to make decisions quickly to respond to emerging facts and evidence. So this week we're going to start changing the ways that we provide teaching to make sure that we keep everyone as safe as possible while providing for every student a continuity of teaching. Please bear with us as we make these decisions quickly and act quickly. We want to avoid panic and we want to work together as a community to ensure that everything is done as well as it possibly can be in very difficult circumstances. Now, for students, we know some of you, the best place for you to be right now, you're going to feel, is on campus or in your uh, house in Plymouth, and that's absolutely fine. But for others, you'll want to get home as quickly as possible. That's absolutely fine and understandable as well. Um, but please let us know before you go so we know how to account for you. Now, we want to keep everybody safe, and that means students, it means staff, but it also means friends and relatives. Many of you may have parents or grandparents who are in those age categories that are considered to be particularly at risk. Or there may be individuals with underlying health conditions that make you vulnerable in particular to coronavirus. That's why we all need to stay as safe as possible and to practice hygiene standards as strongly as possible. Because as we do that, we don't only protect ourselves, but we protect everybody else as well. So please think, I'm washing my hands for 20 seconds, not just for me, but for everyone that I love. 